So you're thinking of traveling to South Africa, but you're not sure what to expect when you get there. You're not what sure where to go, what to do, what's going to happen and how it's going to go. And well, you know, that's normal if you're traveling to a strange place and you're not wondering sure how safe you're going to be, where you're going to be and how it's going to go. So come into the office with me today and let's go and talk about what you need and what to expect when you arrive in a country like South Africa. South Africa is a wonderful country. It's a wonderful place. But the best place that you can visit in South Africa at this moment is Cape Town. Cape Town's the most well-maintained town. It's the most enjoyable town and it's the best place to be. Also, the safest. The statistics will tell you otherwise because for some other odd reason, they tend to want you to think that Cape Town's bad. And after living in those towns in the north and living here, I've duly figured out that Cape Town's a much better place to be. All the streets are fixed, all the traffic lights work, and there's not so many high walls in the suburbs. Uh, people aren't getting shot as often in the suburbs, and so on, and so on, and so on. In the dodgy areas, of course, I mean, that's like anywhere in the world. If you go into a dodgy area, you're putting your wallet at risk and your life. Sorry, not just your wallet. <laughs> but yeah, stay away from the really dodgy areas. You know, if you just stay to the town and, you know, the, the suburbs and things like that, you'll be much better off. At least you can go to the town in Cape Town. You, you're going to struggle to do that in Joburg and Pretoria because those towns are a, a little bit less safe. So as far as safety goes, you're probably safer visiting the Cape Town area. If you do decide to go to areas like Pretoria, Johannesburg, Natal, Durban and those areas and you're going into the towns and that sort of thing, do be very careful with your stuff. You will get shot and mugged for small things like laptops, cell phones. Don't leave them lying in the car where people can see them. Don't carry them around the street with you and don't show off your money. And try not to look like a tourist. You know, so many people, when they go to a country, how is it we always look like tourists? We've just got this way about us of looking like a tourist and we stand out like a sore thumb. And the minute you do that, they kind of target you up there and they, they look for the best possible way to, to get hold of you. But the danger of Joburg, Pretoria, Durban, those areas and up north and Papua and that is if you're in the towns, there's a strong possibility that they'll pull a gun on you and they'll use it. Whereas in Cape Town, they'll probably pull a knife on you, not use it. Well, they might, but generally not. Just watch your stuff, watch yourself walking around and that sort of thing. But if you're in Cape Town and you want to visit some really cool places, the wine farms like Mirandale, Constantia and those sort of things, fantastic, a good time, great wine tasting, and it's really cheap for you guys. I mean, for you guys coming to South Africa and you've got dollars or you've got pounds, I mean, you're literally Actually, you know you're dividing it by 20 I mean it's crazy you've got so much money if you come here to spend and have some fun with so for you guys if you bring five thousand dollars you're gonna have a like seriously good time hotels are gonna be cheap for you if you stay in the right ones and you find the right ones a good trip to do is the Robin Island trip you know where Nelson Mandela was was incarcerated and Jacob Zuma and a few others but you know if you go to Robin Island you can actually have quite a lot of fun there and uh, it's a couple of hours trip you'll go out on the boat you've got to book the trip you'll go out on the boat and then they'll give you a tour around the island and send you back home on the boat and that's a great one also go up table mountain take the cable car if you come in the times when there's some reasonably good weather because you know if the weather's bad not a good idea to be floating around in a cable car but that's fun go up you can see the whole city from up there and what have you and for free you can go up lion's head and just go and sit there and relax and enjoy the views and also absolutely fantastic good areas to stay in the best Best areas to stay in in Cape Town, Camps Bay, Clifton, Sea Point, Green Point, just to name but a few. Park Bay, lovely place. And then of course, if you come to the West Coast, the Bloberg area is absolutely amazing. Alcos Strand, you know, these these areas are a little bit more affordable, not cheap, but affordable in comparison. And they're beautiful, beautiful places to go to. Also, another very very popular spot in Cape Town especially for retirees and stuff like that is Hermanus. Hermanus is a marvelous place beautiful stunning views and it's, it's just nice it's nice Gordon's Bay as well fantastic lovely places to go to if you go to Pretoria and Joburg yeah difficult <laughs> <laughs> the trouble up there is you spend most of your time having bries, as we call them, you call them barbecues, uh, maybe going to the pub or going out to eat and that sort of thing. 
there are things to do there are shopping malls to hang out in and that sort of stuff i wouldn't put that down as a preference for a visit but yeah that's great but if you're in south africa go to the kruger national park what a fantastic trip the game reserve and stay in the different camps go and enjoy yourself in those camps in the kruger national park go and see the big five go and see the wildlife go and see the lions and their kills and that sort of there's loads of lions there's leopard there's zebras there's buck there's all kinds of different there's even crocodiles and it's 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 marvelous it's a full-on game reserve full-on trip and it's something well worth doing if you're in south africa doing that sort of trip and also the nice thing about doing a trip in the game reserve especially for when you're in a different country or from overseas is it's perfectly safe that's important you know you're nice and safe and comfortable inside the park even though you're in the wild and you're not you know your life's not at risk like in one of the towns in limpopo or Pumalanga or something like that you know if you're just going to places like that that that's actually quite enjoyable that's actually a well recommended thing to do when you're in south africa is visit the kruger national park and then also uh down in cape town if you're down here and you're enjoying yourself in the towns and that wine and down yourself in those restaurants all of them are absolutely stunning now how much will it cost you in the country itself well let me tell you something guys a hundred dollars will actually take you pretty far in a day a hundred dollars is a couple of thousand rand and i can tell you you can sit down with your wife in a restaurant and have a nice meal for about 500 rand which is what 25 dollars or something like that you can also in, enjoy uh, most of these trips for example the trip to robin island is about 600 rand per person which is about 30 dollars each in that region so you work that out for yourself guys it's not expensive here not expensive at all hotels depending on the hotel that you choose or if you choose an airbnb you can get an entire house an entire airbnb house for about 2000 rand a night well in season maybe three or four thousand if you're in a uh, heavy spot but you know if you're in a reasonable place in the normal spot but out of season a couple of thousand rand a night hundred dollars a night whole house you can get a flat for half that price if you want to stay in a hotel that'll probably cost you more in the region of 50 to 75 to 100 dollars but really guys it's, it's not expensive at all you, you you're going to enjoy your trip you're going to have a lot of fun there's plenty of ubers you've got lots of ubers to get you around or you can rent a car totally up to you it's it's just a great place i live here i love my life and i'm staying i'm never going anywhere so <laughs> I just enjoy being in this particular place. So if you're coming to, to, to South Africa, like I say, Cape Town's the spot. That's the enjoyable one. Hope you enjoy your trip and I hope you do come and visit us. In fact, hope you come and stay with us. Have a good one, guys. Till the next video. Don't forget to watch the next video next week. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Ciao and bye.